All right, here's the servo shift uh, prototype, and um, sort of bench testing it right now, programming it. Um, so let's take a look at what we got here. Um, so I'm starting with this LM350 uh, DigiKey Special, and that's converting 12 volts into seven and a half to run the servo, and that's rated at uh, three amps, um, likely with that heat sink that's on there, it can, it can pull constant three amps. So I have it set to seven and a half volts via that blue trim pot right there, and some basic electronics that you'll find in the schematics 120 ohms uh, there, 0.1 UF uh, on the end. And uh, for safety reasons, I left the output cap um, off of there for now. Um, but I'll have um, some caps for the for the output there. Okay, so I have this servo set up here. Uh, this yellow uh, wire is actually simulating the uh, rear derailleur cable, um, and then this is some custom stuff up here. I made the mount, um, so tapped in the aluminum there, and made this little mount here. I uh, still working on how I'm connecting it to the bike I got a pretty good idea so uh, as you can see this is an Arduino uh, don't worry about the shield uh, I'm not using that right now I'm just going directly through it it's for some other purposes um, so I can plug this thing in um, and I, I updated the code here and just added some uh, delay for each shift point so I'm simulating the shift points right now um, yeah uploading um, but what I'm going to use for the feedback and, and the shift tables is a speed sensor here. Uh, I got a basic magnetic switch, uh, pretty fast switching speed, and uh, the bicycle wheels aren't going to be um, spinning at a ridiculous uh, frequency. So it seems feasible. Uh, I'll have a dedicated uh, microcontroller just for the speed signal. Um, and as well as amp amperage feedback, which I have uh, right now on the motor control unit. And uh, so I'll build the shift tables off of amps versus speed, and I think I can um, get something going there that's uh, efficient and smart enough to shift the bike uh, when you really need it. So I have a little trim pot here, so I can uh, test out these shift points. So let's go ahead and start playing with that. Set the camera down here. Whoops. And um, the servo will fight to stay in its commanded position. So that's pretty uh, a key element for uh, the, the rear derailleur. So it stays in that gear position. And uh, so here we go. So I have seven shift points. This is again a simulation. When I hook this up on the bike, I will manually uh, set each shift position so that uh, it works properly. But for now, I just guesstimated um, where that would be. So that is, uh, and then you're probably wondering about the travel. Yes, I did sit down and calculate. Um, I actually catted up um, a quick little mock-up of this. So in this whole position and based on the travel, I could get about three quarters of an inch of travel at this point. So measuring from that point to here, uh, three quarters of an inch. And uh, on the actual bike, I measured the cable rear derailleur cable travel and it's around 0.7 inches of travel. So I have plenty of room to uh, properly program the uh, shift positions <clears throat> and this is the prototype and uh, I will hopefully get this on the bike uh, as soon as possible.